Hey there, and uh, welcome back to Exo Primal. I haven't played this in a little bit. We are um, 46% through Mysterious the story mode. Golden Goose, they're connected. And it seems that last time I was here, since last time I was here, they added new exosuits. Rinzo, my God, is there so now we have uh, 8 DPS ones, 6, and six tank and support ones. Which event, uh, was the last uh, of the old ones that I hadn't unlocked. Um, sorry. Yeah, from uh, DPS ones at least, which is at least the last one. And from tank ones I couldn't unlock uh, Murasama. But it seems that they have new ones now. So... Yeah. Interesting. It also said that they have new... modules. But I have no idea which ones. I need one more battle for the next story cutscene. And waiting for matchmaking as usual. Already since last time it felt like uh, the further I progress in the story the slower the matchmaking becomes. I'm not sure uh, if it's a player based thing or the matchmaking takes into account their story progress for some reason or something like that. But it has seemed like it. And this screen also takes longer and longer. Exo fighters, welcome to the war game. This is a high level combat test. You will generate high level data. Demanding metrics bring out our best. We have a healer. We do not have a tank. I set this off. You Good. are precious resources. Your data is prized. This combat test is anticipated. You will now engage in a dinosaur combat test. Exo fighters, follow the watcher. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Which way? Summon raptors. Summoning a stegosaurus. Summoning gas neosaurus. Summoning raptors. Oh, that's a new dino. Stegosaurus. Summoning 
and there are explosive ones. Interesting. To next mission. Also, it doesn't seem to uh, tell us uh, all the time whether we are slower or faster anymore, which is good. Sounds like we barely started. What is this? A new mission type. Constructions. It's just a slice of the larger dimension. Sad about Magnum. Dreadful, dreadful stuff. Such a shame to let go of useful personnel. But business is business, and his data was choice. So, step right up. We are all here. Both teams. Though I should see if you're even worth the effort. Leviathan. Execute. Access code confirmed. Stand by, cancel. Executing command. Adjusting Exo Fighter survival rate to lowest allowable rates. Initiating extreme combat test. An extreme combat test, okay. Charm, I'm sure. Let's see if you have a chance to remember it. Two thousand. Can't remember even what my ability is. It's a shield, okay. Response total. This encounter is more demanding than any previous test. You are valuable assets. Loss would be suboptimal. Work together as a team to survive. Summon a Neo T Rex. A Neo T Rex.
My shield got destroyed immediately. No. My ultimate missed. Instant death. Interesting. Spot for the shield, my bad. No, I almost got on the platform. I've never seen this fight before, so I have no absolutely no idea what to expect here. This time I got on the platform. No. That happened. Oh, 
Are you serious? I knew this would be an insta kill. That is my bad. This time the shield didn't hold eno even enough to block the damage. Interesting. did it. Well, at least for next time I know how this fight works. So there is that. Alright, so... Um, my power went out for some reason, for a moment. Just randomly, a random power outage out of nowhere. And it, uh, it was only uh, for a second. Which is so strange. Oh, but I'm back now, so... Let's do a little bit more. Most enjoyable experience. Um, but, uh, let's uh, try to play a Zephyr. That would be something. The recording of the vote is corrupted, but the... yeah. I guess I can just get it from uh, Twitch then. Let's see what kind of a mission we get this time. Welcome to the war game. I am the Advanced Artificial Intelligence Leviathan. I require all exo fighters to participate in the combat tests. This is a two-team competitive scenario. Those on the other side are the enemy team. The first team to complete all of the assigned objectives wins. The winning team will be eligible for bonus existence. Data indicates that human beings improve their performance through competition. Compete to win and compete to live. Compete to achieve research excellence. We have a tank and no healer, it seems. Now we have a healer. Nice. The, after this battle, I'll uh, check on the story. How thoughtful. Interdimensional transfer complete. The war game will begin shortly. Have a super day. You will now engage in a dinosaur combat test. Exo fighters, follow the watcher. Dinosaur 
This melee, char melee character is always fun, but it's also a bit difficult when the dinos decide to target you. So, so the only reason that it didn't have that the uh, faster and slower thing is because it didn't matter in that particular mission. So far I have liked uh, the map variety that the game offers, despite being in this um, small city area, they have managed to uh, make at least two or three different biomes here. I can't do much against. But Raptors I can. Someone who can take care of the Terra um, Tractors, I think, as well. So that's nice. Five hundred damage. So close.
final mission will be data key security. Now this is a PvP one. To the data key will cause it to advance. Escort it to the objective. If the data key is destroyed, remain in proximity to repair it. Stay near the data key to escort it and complete the mission. Where do? isn't great in this mission. Escort progress, 20%. A dominator has been generated for your team. Use the dominator to commandeer a dinosaur and attack the enemy. I have awarded the enemy team a dominator. They may invade with a hostile dinosaur. I take it. Dominator activated. Take advantage of this unique asset and defeat the enemies. The enemy data key has progressed 40%. Your allies are on the offensive with the enemy team. Escort progress, 40%. A slightly slower. Summon Raptors. That's better. Summoning to Domination program activated. Summoning Raptors. Summoning to Escort progress. The enemy data has progressed sixty per cent. Summon Raptors. Now we are slightly ahead. Super close. Team is on the offensive. Fight back. Victory is near. Demonstrate exemplary combat ability by defeating the enemy. Warning. The enemy team has activated the dominator. Oh, they use the dominator now. Prioritize its destruction. The enemy data team has progressed 90%. Consider directly attacking enemy exoplanets. I'm just gonna repair it. Or not. Uploading now, and they are making sure we can't get close. Combat test complete. The enemy team fulfilled its objectives first. You are defeated. Mm -hmm. Repeat. You are defeated.
What is that exosuit cosmetic? Level 26 Zephyr level 6 Got a new module uh, What is the module? Skyfall Enables an extra attack by pressing Dinosaurs knocked back by the extra attack deal damage to enemies they hit. Okay. The upgrade does extra dam attack base damage by 5%, so that's good. I think to increase it to 10%. Alright. And now the story. This is the cutscene we missed. Pinky forefinger. Back to middle. Full wrist articulation. Then we do it in reverse. Begin. What the hell are you guys doing? It's a secret robot handshake. Good morning, Victoria. Oh, see? At least someone knows my real name. Hey, Majesty, sit down. You had a hell of a fever cooking. Okay, brethren and sister, how many people thought Dr. Sines was on the level? Okay. Ocular micro expressions suggest a ruse, double cross, or bamboozle. I agree. But if you went through all that trouble to ask us for some data, that data is worth checking out. This is a trap. Where's my gun? Okay, you can have that back when you are not hypovolemic, angry, or paranoid. I will aim for two out of three. Yeah, I can't trust you with the gun anymore. A researcher's email. Guess you might want to hold off sending a resume to Anchor Division. Speak up about Leviathan and you're fired. Maybe she got off the island. Happy ending. One of the 413. Imagine, you're on that last boat. Last ones to make it before the tsunami. I mean, the, the guilt. Me? I would feel lucky. You? Wow. All right. What? Well, that is lucky brick. I might have gone too far this time. I don't know. Sharon, I might have gone too far this time. I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. To speak up about Leviathan. Somebody just contacted me saying Ibius is getting ready to fire me. Have you ever heard of this guy Yannick Gnadi? I'm a little freaked out about the way he got in contact with me. He knew I was at my workstation and everything. Whether it's true or not, best stay away from me for now though. Don't want my bad luck to rub off on you. No, it's not bad luck, it's just... Corpus silencing. Sandy, now they see if you can filter out some of that noise. Can't hear signs. Processing now. Did you find something? Well, we think so, but... It's a phone call, and all the important bits are in the background. It's a bit hard to make out. I have filtered the audio and equalized the voice levels. Okay, great. This call came out of Anchor Division right at the beginning of the incident. Go for it, Sandy. Hello. You have reached the Ibis Emergency Response Hotline. Hello? We need help. Everyone's fine. Your call is being recorded. Please press 1 to Either the connection is damaged or the license will come sent. Can you hear that? The fire alarms are going off. 
Okay. So that happened. Always opening doors when danger is right outside the door. This uh, matchmaking was fast. So I guess it uh, just depends on what mode it wants to put me into. Or in. It seems. Welcome to the war game. You showed great potential during your previous outing in the ruins area. My algorithmic analysis predicts fantastic results. Um, we have a healer, but we lack a tank. Try to be a tank. To stall the charging dinosaurs. Interdimensional transfer complete. The war game will begin shortly. Have a super day. You will now engage in a dinosaur combat test. Exofighters, follow the watcher. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. What are those dinosaurs? Those are also new, brand new for this game. Defend against this guy. Maybe.
Got them. You are completing objectives slower than the enemy. But now we are slower. Follow the watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summoning a triceratops. Summoning dinosaurs. Can't do anything against me. Focus on me, please. Keep focusing on me. And there's the shield. But I gave them enough time to get him down. I'm starting to get the hang of uh, how the tanks work. At least this tank. Get back to me. Focus on me, please. Oh, nice. That went well. Proceed to next mission. Oh, wrong way. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Summoning raptors. Summoning pachycephalosaurus. Nope, you will not get through. I will not let you through. I guess they got through. Summoning happy cephalosauruses. Summoning dilophosauruses. I guess I got that one myself. You are completing objectives faster than the enemy team. Now we go Follow this way. Watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summon the Carnotaurus. Get behind me! Focus on me. Keep focusing on me. Good job. Good. Keep going. Focus on me. Good. Dinosaur call. You are completing objectives. 
objective slower than the enemy team. Right. This uh, didn't go amazingly well, but but it was all right Warning. enough. You will now commence the final mission. Brace yourselves for interdimensional travel. Is this the uh, PvP mission or? The final mission is uplink. Yeah, control. PvP. Approach the uplink and secure it. Then initiate data transfer. Maintain your proximity to an enemy-controlled uplink to disable that uplink and claim it for your team. One shield coming up. Trying. A blank B is down there. Seems to be a new ability. We can also get B for ourselves. My tank is really tough. They, they hit me so much and nothing happened. to defend C, but it is not easy. I think we have one. Yeah, victory. 
Nice. Subject performance evaluation complete. Your combat has been deemed extra satisfactory. Please leverage this rest interval for maximum recuperation. I think I did okay in this battle. Sixteen thousand damage blocked. Whoa. And I think I did uh, okay when trying to keep the aggro of the enemy as well. Player level 27. I got the rig blade. Roadblock got the new module. And some big coins. And an award, Unbreakable. And Supernova. And High-End Roadblock. And more story. A lot of ju uh, stuff just happened. Right, lot Roadblock. Let's see your new module. Tower Shield. Modifies Ballistic Wall Performance. Increases durability by 400. Oh yes, please. Put that on. A region can go here. Five fifty. Seven hundred. Can make him really tough. What is the blade? An electromagnetic shuriken that paralyzes enemies on contact. Oh, I think this was used against me uh, during this match. Interesting. Uh, the new wards are unbreakable, which is collect a specific amount of damage blocked metals. I have one hundred. I have hundred and twenty-nine. Then uh, supernova collect a specific amount of exo kill metals. And high-end roadblock achieved a designated score as roadblock in a match. 100,000. So that happened. The best screwdriver, Lorenzo. Sandy, where are you going with that screwdriver? It is the best screwdriver, Chief. I am returning it to its proper place. Here, on Alder's desk. Okay, uh, why? I'm sorry, Chief. My confidentiality was requested and confirmed. Sandy, I'd like you to help me with something. I am always ready to assist, Chief. Please examine the cockpit for three seconds for me. Certainly. Good, good. All right, then. Thank you, Sandy. Chief, the best screwdriver is missing. Listen, you got to understand we live in a changing world. Nothing is constant. Cling to an object for too long. A screwdriver, for instance. The next thing you know, the world's leaving you behind. I did not realize the consequences would be so severe. What I'm trying to say is embrace the bigger perspective. Take change as it comes. That is the path to happiness and fulfillment. Understand? I have made a recording for further analysis. Good. Because I need you to play that back for orders when he asks how I got the best screwdriver. Oh, really? Strato Waiter News Report. Talk about a blast from the past. What is it? A news report from right before the incident. Listen to this. Thousands of enthusiasts have gathered on Vikatoa Island for the grand opening of IBS Corp's Golden Goose, the Stratovator. This massive engineering project by the global technology leader will be humanity's first functional space elevator and one of the largest structures ever built. Our crew on the ground spoke with some of the people camped out waiting for the big day. August 16th. What brought you to Vikatoa? Well, it's just this incredible leap forward and I wanted to be part of it. We're working in space in my lifetime, you know? I, I can't wrap my head around it, dude. It 
IBS is killing it, man. Like, killing it. Nailed it. Built a space elevator. <laughs> Clearly, there's a lot of excitement. Rumors abound that IBS plans to unveil a revolutionary new fuel responsible for powering the Stratovator as part of the opening ceremony. We'll have more for you tomorrow morning, live, as the ribbon is cut. Remember that feeling? How hopeful people used to be about this team. And if we actually stop it from falling, I mean, people could... They could feel this way again. First things first, we stay alive. Walk before you can run. Okay. And with that, I have completed P07. Why did dinosaurs appear before the incident? for the grand opening of Ibius Corp's Golden Goose, the Stratovator. Oh, waiting for the big day, August 16th. August 16th. August 16th. Sandy, bring up that poster we found. Displaying. It lines up. It... Hey, Ace, Madge, check this out. Exo Fighters, your next dimensional integration is scheduled for 1430 hours. Ugh, again? Ace just went out this morning. Oh, I don't think again covers it, Madge. I mean, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, look here. Now, I think Leviathan's been running this war game non-stop ever since the day of the Picatawa incident. Uh, non-stop? You mean for us, it's been a few times a day, but... But Leviathan's always repeating August 16th, 2040, like a broken record. See, it's right here. On August 16th, the same day as the Picatoa incident, Leviathan was running this DevX war game to test IBS's prototype exosuits. Now, listen to this again. It was recorded when the Picatoa incident was happening. signs realizing something was very wrong with Leviathan. And this happened the same day as the grand opening of the Stratovator? That's right. On one side of the island, Leviathan takes control of the Stratovator. But on the other side, it's been given control of this DevX exosuit war game. So you've got a hyper-advanced AI trying to run a war game. Then you suddenly give it control of dinosaur summoning vortex attack. The device is built into the Stratovator cable. Exactly. So I'd wager that Leviathan wasn't satisfied with suit-on-suit -suit combat tests, so it used the Stradivator to up the ante. Exosuits versus dinosaurs? Now there's a fight. <laughs> That's an awful lot of creative thinking for a glorified smartphone. Ain't not wrong there. But nevertheless, suits versus lizards. That's the moment it all went wrong. How could the IBS let this happen? The more I look into this, the more I think the entire thing could have been avoided if Signs wasn't so obsessed with this Golden Goose project. I mean, just listen to this. All the Golden Goose designs they had up in the past. Everything was wonderful. We don't want to destroy them unless we do something. I take your point. People dying. That's all he could think of. Signs might help us get off this island. Chief's right. He can't be trusted. Makes sense. So he's basically the AI is stuck uh, in a time loop uh, on August 16th, 2040, and keeps playing that over and over and over again. Okay. Uh, let's uh science can't be trusted no way oh I have one of these I guess that's from the crushed um, play this is such a pointless mechanic oh this got the new skin and the sniper also got a new skin. 
So now I actually have a skin for uh, the roadblock. Nice. I'd love to see them try and hit me. Right. And now on the black screen for a little bit. Until that goes through. Welcome to the war game. Exo fighter growth opportunity. Attacking the head of a Carnotaurus is effective. It will quickly close in on attacking players, so make sure to maintain a safe distance at all times. We have a tank, but uh, no heal. Oh, now we have a healer too. Good. I think uh, that jumping around on with this exosuit is fun. Dinosaur call. Did it. You are completing objectives faster than the enemy team. Follow the watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. As the wall please wait. Burn. Summoning to rest. Summoning raptors. No, you will not get me. I will not that let that happen. It let me there. Objectives faster than the enemy team. Follow the watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call mission. The boss. Please wait. Summon a Taurus. You just before. Good. Dinosaur call. You are completing objectives slower than the enemy team. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summoning raptors. This won't be Summon raptors. 
put it all around here. That was fast. Missed all of them. But didn't miss the Pachyosaurus. Pachyosaurus. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur college. Preparing combat areas. Please wait. Summoning a Triceratops. Hmm, that was bad. Other than the uh, stomach, I don't know what the uh, what the uh, weakness here is. Warning: You will now commence the final mission. Brace yourselves for interdimensional travel. Prepare for combat. Warning: Has entered this dimension. You are at great risk of being attacked. Stay alert at all times. The final mission will be data key security. Proximity to the data key will cause it to advance. Escort it to the objective. If the data key is destroyed, remain in proximity to the target. Summon Rapids. I do enjoy this exosuit. Summoning Tyrannodons. Escort progress twenty percent. How did I hit that? Amazing. Escort progress, 60%. Yeah. 
Summoning Tyrannodons. Summoning Raptors. Summoning Pachycephalosaurus. The enemy data key has progressed 60%. Right, these guys are a bit tougher. I hope I can deal with them easy enough. Catching up. I guess I got uh, just an assist. That team is using the same tactic as the one be uh, before in the earlier data key mission. Take it down, but uh, this exosuit doesn't have the firepower for that. For that, I need dead eye. Is there a different way to get there? No, that doesn't seem to be. But basically, they have blocked off. You are defeated. This failure has brought you perilously close to the forcible We had uh, no chance there. Because they were able to block off the entire um, choke point there. I think that this this part of the map uh, seems uh, seems to need some rethinking. Behold, the best exo fighters in this war game. Arras got the new module. And I also got this. The way this looks, uh, it seems like someone uh, took a few days to put something into the game that maybe at some point would have been uh, a premium thing. It's so bad. What if I stun grenade performance temporarily increases attack power upon use? Oh, that's nice.
Right. Lose all report. Authorized eyes only. <laughs> Safety information was on a need to know basis in anchor division. Surprising no one. Lose all threshold. Toxic effects on organic tissue. They hid the fact this crap poisons anything it touches it. He's a piece. Glad I wore gloves last time I cleaned off the damn suit. But Neosaur. I mean, look at this. It's a walking glob of the stuff. Ace, you seen this shit in action? Lozor should be stored in a tank or in a container that complies with paragraph D2 of this section. It's combustible. One wrong move in storage and Lozor turns into a bomb. Son of a bitch. You're thinking of the explosion that cost me my arm. It comes to mind. Huh. Health and safety would have a field day with this. Lab incident supplemental report Lozol for Administrator Aizonde. This is the last image captured by the lab's experiment camera during yesterday's accident. Well, the accident itself was a minor catastrophe. The data we have received here takes us much further in understanding the dangers of the Lozol threshold. As you all know, Lozol is an extremely hazardous substance uh, if mishandled. In addition to its toxic effects on organic tissue, Lozol has a tendency to re react unpredictably and explosively when enough of it accumulates in one place. We now believe that the accident was caused by just such, by just, uh, such an accumulation. This creature's arrival was the triggering factor. The creature seems to have appeared from an uncontrolled vortex. Opinions are divided as to the root cause, but the prototype Golden Goose vortexer in the lab was definitely running at the time. As you can see, where normally a dinosaur's tissue is infused with that most 10% concentration of Lozol, this Neosaur is co almost entirely composed of Lozol. Yeah, we saw that. Uh, it was, he was all... Uh, he had that the purple su su substance all over it. Unfortunately, before a more in-depth study could be made, the highly concentrated and unstable Lozol exploded. The resulting ca conflagration ignited the lab and incinerated the Neosaur's remains. We are feeding this data into Leviathan and hope to have some uh, pre preliminary results within the next few days. Okay. Voice within a voice. Thank you for attempting to access the Leviathan facility control system. Your access privileges have been temporarily rescinded. Please submit to an administrator at your earliest convenience. Olders, enough already. You've been listening to that lippy lippy Leviathan since the damn sun came up. Mercy, brother. Give it a break. Oh, chief. How long have you been listening? Since the damn sun came up. You've been yammering at it the top of volume all morning. Oh, no, I, I'm not. I mean, I'm not talking to it. Then put on some headphones and jam in respectful silence. Please. N no, Chief. This is one of the Leviathan voice messages Sandy flagged. I know. I heard. At 4 a.m. I know, Chief, but wait. Before Bikitoa happened, Leviathan sent out thousands right now. of messages daily. Most of them just routine staff inquiries, but this one's different. It's got additional data encoded in the audio. Leviathan's voice was a carrier signal. Chief, the message was not the message. Someone at Anchor encoded a hidden message in this frequency. I've translated it. Listen, I know what you did in the lab. There was no accident. You're going to lose your job in the next three days. Find me through, Leviathan. I mean, what the hell was going on over there? Olders, you're not wrong. But it's Monday morning. It's Wednesday, Chief. It is Sunday morning. <sighs> I'm going back to bed. Nobody knows what day it is. 
Alright, 53% done. And I think uh, this is it for the day. It was meant to be a... It was meant to be a really a short game. It was a, a, a tiny bit longer than uh, planned, but hey, it's fine. So, we have... Uh, we are more than halfway through Exa Primal now. And I have no idea how much there is still to go. Because I'm guessing that um, it gets harder and harder to level up. And uh, mostly it seems that uh, you get... Actually... Well, at least main story cutscenes aren't based on that, so but I'm not sure about... Functions. I don't actually know where the story comes from, or how you unlock it, but we'll see as time goes on. So, yeah. Thank you very much for uh, watching, and I'll see you next time, whenever that way may be. Hopefully not as long as it was uh, between this and the previous stream. So, yeah, bye.